I feel like Jamal Charlo versus uh, Jose Benavidez is a perfect fight, especially um coming off a long layoff. Both of them have a history of long layoffs and injuries and different things outside the ring. But I think it's a perfect fight for two guys who's I wouldn't say they're similar, but coming into it, they got way more similarities than I think they do because just the layoffs and the things that goes on. But I feel like it's a, a, a very, very good fight. It could be a classic. That's a very underrated fight. It could be way bigger than what people realize because they're both not coming off uh, trying to take any tune-ups. They both have uh, been on long layoffs. Not as active as uh, people usually see, but... Um, I feel like it's a very, very good fight, especially for Jamal Charlo. If he wants to um, try to get to that level back again, this is a great fight for him to start off with. But Benavidez, is, uh, he's a threat because he's a very good boxer, but his mobility has kind of uh, stopped him in recent fights as far as being in his uh, original form, but he's still an elite fighter. Um, with the way he fights now. It's just that he has to, um, I feel like the last couple of fights have got him back in the flow of fighting and got him a second wind of things. But he's one of those guys, he's just scary. He only has two losses. I know people probably feel like he has five or six losses. He only has two losses, and the two losses uh, are to Terry Crawford and Danny Garcia. So those aren't bad fights. And Danny Garcia coming up to uh, 54 when they fought, that was a very dangerous fight because Danny Garcia, as I seen um, when he came up to 47, he gets stronger as he goes up. Um, he, 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 his, his strength comes with him carrying his power and going up, but I feel like uh, that was a hard fight for Jose because he hasn't fought that kind of talent uh, in the ring in a minute. He was very rusty, took two or three years off. So I feel like he could have... Um, did a lot better with a couple more tune-ups, but he's not a kind of guy who's going to wait on tune-ups. He, I wouldn't say he wants the big fights, but he he's going to fight an elite fighter, whether anybody believes that he can take him or not. He's going to take the fight. Uh, because I think when people uh, seen him lose to uh, Terrence Crawford, they thought that um, he was a pushover after the loss. I didn't really see people mention him too much, but this fight can put him back into a Jamal Charlo win for him, it will put him back on top. He'll be a solid name. It'll put him back on top. So this win for him is huge. This is a big fight for him and Jamal Charlo. Jamal Charlo has to um, come in and basically in shape. He's usually in shape, ready to go 12 rounds. They're both, uh, they're both of their stamina is good. Uh, the mobility, they, they're not as mobile. So it'll be a toe-to-toe -to -toe fight. Um, whoever whoever's ready, like as far as the time in it, if you, it's not gonna be too much jab. And I know Jamal Charlo has a not a good jab. Uh, Benavidez doesn't jab too much. He's really a, a puncher, but uh, he can jab if he feels. But I wouldn't be expecting a jab from him. But um, I feel like um, that fight would be very good. Um, a knockout? I don't know. They're not really two guys who get knocked out like that. But over time, as you've seen with Ugas, age kind of wears on people and uh, your punch with stand really don't last that long. So it's it's only uh, as much as you can tell as far as um, the wars they've been in. You can kind of weigh that to the side, but not really going to dictate much as far as um, who, who can take a, a knockout better. At this point, I feel like uh, Jamal Charlo is better as far as defensively because I haven't seen him hurt too many times. He's been in there with a lot of uh, Eastern Europeans, a lot of Americans, uh, Hispanics. So he's very uh, well-rounded as far as seeing different skills. He has a very uh, high advantage as far as seeing those types of fights, especially at different weights. I would only say that if I had to guess – that Jose would probably be more comfortable carrying his weight because um, I feel like with Charlo, um, with his weight uh, coming up to 68, 
I don't know if that's going to be too much of an issue. He's brought it up that it it could be an issue if he's not used to um, fighting then, but I don't know if it's going to be a 68. It might be a 60, but he's still expecting to go up for 68 for Can- uh, Canelo. So I don't know if he's going to um, be in elite shape as far as that uh, goes, but I will say um, as far as most of the things he has crossed out, I would give the experience to Jose Benavidez. I know people would probably say um, he doesn't have more experience than Jamal Chala, but with his amateur background and the things he's done and the people he's been in the ring with, I'm giving him the advantage as far as experience because he's seen a lot. As far as overall, as far as the style um, benefit, I'll get that to Jamal just because he's seen recently. But overall... I would give it to um, Jose as far as what to do in the fight, um, things go wrong, and things of that nature. I would give that to him because he's been in a lot more, um, I would say, I wouldn't say wars, but he's been in a lot more higher class fights as far as, as you can say. So his barometer as far as talent, things of that nature, I would probably give to him because he's been in there with Crawford, fought very well against Crawford in his prime. So you do have to take that into consideration. But that's all I got, though. It should be a nice fight preview. It's going to be one of my favorite fights of the year. Um, should be a very good fight. That's all I got. Like and subscribe.